Amit, can you start it? Yep, thank you very much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Dev May talk. First of all, good morning to you all. I believe it's still morning in India. And good after to my Japan members. Uh, first of all, I hope you all are doing all uh, good, and I wish you happy learning ahead. Uh, I'm going to speak about uh, my marketing operations teams. In short, we call it as marketing ops. Uh, can you go to the next slide? Uh, let's talk a little brief about today's agenda. So I'll just introduce a little about uh, myself. Then uh, I'll have a discussion about what is like marketing operations, mm -hmm. what are its objectives as a business, what are uh, uh, what is the inside of the marketing operations, and what are the resulting metrics when we when this marketing operations uh, business happens and what the consumer and the customers of our services uh, various kinds of campaigns which we run and of course i'll introduce you to my uh, back-end team member and within that you can see that the diversity which we follow within mockery and i'll talk a little about the future of marketing ops as well and the uh, little challenges I'll introduce you to the tech stack which we use, which is almost similar to what has been briefed earlier. And of course, the motivating factor about, the, uh, about our success. So let's move to the next slide. So starting with myself, uh, my name is Amit Kumar and I'm originally from Branchi City, which is capital of Jharkhand State in India. I'm working for Mercury Japan and uh, living in Tokyo and it has been almost like two and a half years. Uh, I work here within the marketing operations team as a backend engineer. Uh, within Japan, I speak only, ja only English and I don't speak Japanese. And uh, professionally, if I say it has been almost 11 years for me within the IT and mostly dealing uh, with the backend architecture and development for building a scalable systems. And I joined Mercury in uh, 2020. And then he said it's two and a half year almost. Okay, let's move to the next slide. So now let's some talk something technical here. Uh, now, before I explain what is marketing ops, let's understand like what is the uh, problem we want to solve here. And uh, I'm sure you'll all be able to relate to this problem if you say you are an uh, owner of an e-com app in some way or other, like, or like relatively uh, mm, you own that as a business and you want your business to grow. So here for Mercury, uh, mm, what the problem we want to solve is we want to keep our users engaged to our app. We also want to increase the value propositions of our product or services which we deliver to our users. And importantly, how does these value propositions alter with respect to cost? Cost, uh, as in, let's say, if, what if I give them some percentage discount? What if I offer them some monetary value or discount in terms of monetary value? or let's say altering value of some specific product, or let's say discounting, uh, giving discount or coupons for some specific product. So to solve like uh, um, above problems, we plan to adopt, uh, so, so can we go to the next slide first? Yeah, so to solve all these problems, basically we adopted some kind of uh, promotional strategy wherein we can incentivize users based on their actions, which could be, let's say, uh, in real time, or maybe some past actions. For example, um, let's say we run a campaign, okay, uh, named as something like New Year campaign, and in which we want to incentivize new users who joins us with, let's say, thousand points. And uh, this this is the criteria for the campaign that the users should be new and they should register during the eve of the New Year, okay, and then only will incentivize us. So this is kind of some. Uh, user segmentation we are creating and some kind of rules we are uh, creating. Now, to apply this strategy for, uh, uh, we also need to uh, apply the apply a strategy wherein we can promote or create awareness of this running campaign. Otherwise, how well users will know that if I join and then I'll get a uh, thousand points on the new year if. So we need to uh, run this awareness uh, about our campaign. Uh, we also have to apply for strategy, apply the strategy to identify those set of users who registers, let's say on the eve of New Year. Uh, we also have to apply strategies to distribute points. Let's say, as you said, that thousand points we need to uh, give to the qualified users. And we also need to apply strategy to notify users that they have received 
point and this should be able to view that point on the mockery app so here comes in the marketing operations and as a solution it uh so son, can we go to the next slide yeah uh so here comes in the micro uh, uh marketing uh, operations as a solution that provides let's say uh capability and st uh, strategy wherein you can create uh user segments campaigns and uh, different incentive services to help our tool consumers to, i'll explain what this term tool consumer exactly means but uh, 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 it helps us to create new user segments campaigns uh, uh, define incentive uh, experiments design communication experiments with the users okay now uh, as I said, that tool consumers, tool consumers are very important term here. So by this, uh, I mean the marketeers, the actual users of services are not the end users, uh, rather is the marketeers, and we can say that they are the admins of this app. So uh, by this time, you must have realized that, uh, uh, of course, as here, that these operations or strategies cannot be executed by normal users, but only by the admins uh, people. Uh, now let's understand the uh, objective which uh, this marketing operations help us to achieve. And firstly, as I said, what was the problem previously that engage users and market our product? And uh, if just keeping users engaged cannot help us make the business. So we have to promote more of buying and selling. Uh, then only uh, uh, our business will make the profit. Of course, uh, the, we need to build loyalty with the system. Uh, that is also something important to attract users. Uh, that definitely will induce higher sales and revenue, will raise brand awareness as well. And for sure, if the transactions are happening, lots of buying and selling are happening, for sure, there will be quick monetary infusion into the business, which is very important for any business to grow. And of course, uh, uh, during all this process, lots of data will be generated and for sure we'll monitor uh, and use those uh, user behaviors to plan uh, future businesses. Uh, Kerson, can we go to the next slide, please? Thank you very much. Okay, as I said that these tools are gonna be mostly used within the mockery. So who are the users of these tools? So this is uh, CRM uh, uh, people, then uh, Mope, uh, maybe I think next is the Mope team introduction. Then uh, there's Mercury Schools, Mercury Shops, which is, I think if you remember Sozo introduced by uh, uh, Wakasasan. Then there's Tokomo, then Omo, oh, then there is Merlogy. So different businesses have, uh, uses uh, these things to promote, uh, to uh, engage users at different levels. And we run different kinds of campaign, as I said, one was to uh, um, new user registration. The other is like re referral for customer acquisition, which is like, you must be aware of this. Uh, so uh, de depending upon how marketers want to do, uh, they choose and they run different kinds of campaign. Uh, can we go to the next slide? Oh yes, uh, that's my amazing team. Uh, and now you can see the diversity. Of course, Kego being my engineering manager, so Rasa being the TPM, Rupees from India again, he's the tech lead. Uh, this is Caroline from Taiwan, tech lead, John from Malaysia, back in engineer, Ten Ling San, then uh, Chaitanya, Jonathan, Ahmed. So no, that's me for sure. And you can see the diversity within the team that uh, uh, from uh, almost four or five different countries we belong and uh, how we collaborate. So next slide, please. Okay, uh, the future challenge is something like, if you see in the uh, previous diagram, things were very much scattered. Now what we want to do is unify the whole system where in, let's say we want to have one engagement platform where in uh, people from uh, Sozo, Merlozi, Mope comes in and creates campaign and distribute incentive to the user. That's something very, uh, a big challenge uh, right now within the mockery and we are working on it. Uh, so uh, that's what I, my first line says, building a common marketing platform for the whole group, for the whole mockery group. Okay, and of course, if that comes in, then scalability for sure is gonna kick in. And of course, the related, uh, related performances, availability, data integrity is another major thing which we are uh, 
uh, wondering about because every system at this moment is having their own data. And when we're bringing them together, how we are going to deal with the data integrity. And of course, code efficiency for sure would matter. Do we need to rewrite everything or we need to use something which is already existing uh, for different, different organizations? Uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so this is the tech stack which we use, which is, I think, already been briefed by other members previously. So, um, uh, but uh, we are open, like, if you want to implement uh, anything new, it should be, uh, you, uh, you are most welcome. So team is always open for the new idea and whatever the tech stack you bring in. Uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay, and... Um, uh, our team is a very nice, successful team and uh, uh, always striving to solve big problems. And we are very much aligned with the Mercury values, which says go bold, all for one, and be a pro. Uh, go bold is just take the bold steps, bold decisions. Don't worry, even if you fail, uh, you should come back. Okay. And all for one is like, you help me, I help you, I contribute for you. So uh, like always uh, operating in collaborations, not that it is not, it is uh, my, it is your job you should do. We don't believe in all those kind of statements we have. I think I've used it for the very first time. So we are uh, always available for uh, each other. And of course, uh, be a pro, all your uh, intellectuals and all your technical knowledge comes to an expertise within this uh, value. So we always abide by uh, these rules. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to the next slide. And yes, thank you very much. And I hope uh, this massive system will definitely attract you and maybe we can have someone of you within our team. <laughs> so thank you very much. Any questions, we can, you can post it on the chat and I can answer it later. Thanks very much for your time.